everyone, welcome back to my channel. Since I announced that I will be competing again, I figured this would be a really good time to share with you guys four mistakes that I made when I competed so that hopefully you guys don't have to make those mistakes as well. Ultimately, a lot of these mistakes are what led to me thinking that maybe I wouldn't do this again. So I'm hoping that I can share them so that you guys don't make the mistakes so you don't find yourself in the same position that I was in. After the video, I'm gonna do a little bit of a chat and share with you guys a little bit more about kind of what led to this decision for me of returning to the stage. The first and probably the biggest mistake that I made was I assumed that the amount of time off I took in between seasons would be enough time every single time. And honestly, it just wasn't. I competed for about four years and I always took about the same amount of time off, which was about six months, I believe. The first year, second year, maybe even the third year, I do believe that it was enough time and I was able to you know, work hard and diet down and stay healthy mentally and physically. And I always reverse dieted out of my shows. I was able to like really truly reverse diet really well out of my shows and I think your reverse diet and your mental strength there really says a lot about like how ready you are to go into the next season and I always felt so good and so strong and that last time I think my body truly just needed more so like a year off in between turning pro and doing my pro debut and in reality I just didn't give it that much time because I didn't think it needed that much time so seriously you guys please take a lot of time off take more time off than you think you need to take time off. Okay, so everyone's gonna make me a promise. You're all gonna take time off. You're all gonna be very, very smart and you're all gonna make sure that your body feels good and that you're not fighting it going into a show. The second mistake that I made, and this kind of applies to only pros, it's a huge, big newbie pro mistake, <laughs> but just like when I was an amateur, I would choose shows and I would commit to them. And when you're a pro athlete, once you choose a show, everybody has to sign a contract for whatever show they're doing, but you're allowed to sign the contract up until like a few days before the competition. But me being who I was, I was like, I have no problem committing. Like once I choose a show, I will be ready. I just, I didn't know that my body was not going to be ready. So all of a sudden I had all three contracts signed ahead of time and my body was not ready and mentally and physically I was just like not doing well at all and it was like a really hard impossible situation to be in because here I am contracted into these shows and you get fined and like I think you get in trouble or something don't mark my words but like you definitely get fined if you sign the contract and then you don't do it like it's a big IFBB no no you should not do that but I had signed the contracts and like physically I was not ready at all. My body was fighting me like crazy and like mentally I was not in a good spot either. I was going through some of the biggest stressors that you can go through in your entire life, like all at once. And I just had to make a decision. I was like, I can't go on stage, not even looking close to ready. Like I have to push, you know, I'm, I forgot how many weeks I was out at that point, but I knew I wasn't ready at a certain amount of you know weeks out. And I just had to make the decision, you know what, I have to get up there and not be embarrassed. So I have to like push through this right now. And man, did I learn my lesson. So pro athletes do not sign your contracts until like days before when you know that you're ready, when you know that your body feels good. And if you're an amateur, I would just say like, try not to lock yourself into any show. No show is worth your health. Um, so hopefully I can prevent somebody from making that mistake that I made. The third mistake that I made was during prep, I did not recognize that my mental and physical health had become unhealthy. So especially my relationship with food, I didn't realize like how unhealthy it got. And it kind of felt like it's just, it's always how it was. Like food was always a thing. And it was always, and I feel like when I, when I do that, like people who run prep are gonna understand what that means. But it's like, I feel like I started to feel this like mental pull towards food, where in reality, like food should never like control your life. Life. food should never control like most of your thoughts and I just I didn't recognize that my mental space had become unhealthy towards food obviously like when you're dieting it is normal to feel hungry it's normal to like be like oh I'm craving chocolate or like I want this or that and it's a different story though when it kind of goes beyond just like the oh I'm thinking about food or this and that when it becomes like a it's, like insatiable like desire like you have like this desire towards food in like a really weird way like I don't know it just became really weird and like I said I was going through 
through like the biggest stressors in life. I was going through a breakup, I was moving, I was traveling nonstop. So my you know third biggest mistake was I just didn't recognize how, how I was just really not in a good spot at all. So my advice to you guys is if you're in prep and you're feeling that way, maybe you're watching this video and you're like, oh my gosh, it's exactly how I feel. No prep is worth mentally like going down deeper. So if you already feel like you're not in a good spot, I would say just take time off. Like I promise time off is like probably the answer to most of your struggles and problems, whether it be mental or physical or, you know, less desire for the gym or whatever's going on, like time off will seriously help you so much. Okay, the fourth mistake that I made is kind of a no-brainer and you guys are gonna roll your eyes at me, but I trusted chicken that I flew on a plane with without ice packs. And let me just tell you the backstory to this because it actually is important to why I got so unhealthy after my competition. But essentially, I had three peak weeks in a row. I crushed my last show. It was amazing. I flew home. After flying home, I had chicken with me and I decided to eat my prep meal that I made. Like I fully food poisoned myself. And that night I got food poisoning. And because my body was in such a sensitive state where I had three back-to-back -back peak weeks and I had just flown on a plane, you know, and my body is like more dehydrated and it just it was in a really sensitive state and then you give that really sensitive body food poisoning which you know puts most normal people out on their back I mean I was like in really bad shape and I actually went to the ER twice and it was really really bad guys and they pumped me full of IVs when my body was in that sensitive state and I felt inflamed for months and months on end after that. Like you could tell even, even when I still was kind of lean, I was like inflamed. And then it's like, it just, everything was like kind of downhill from there. So long story to say, seriously guys, I know that we joke about it. I joked about it in some of my other preps, but like it is a serious thing. Like do not, I joked one time about like fish in a bag or something, like fish in a gym bag which is so dumb and I, I then I thought it was okay as well but once you have food poisoning I think you learn and no amount of protein is ever worth getting food poisoning I promise please don't do what I did and I'm sorry if I encouraged any of you to you know question your fish or to or to not question it rather <laughs> so please don't do fish in a gym bag guys bad idea Okay, so just some quick advice that I wanna to give to other competitors. Take time off while you're ahead. Don't wait until you feel unhealthy mentally and physically and you have a bad relationship with food. Like, don't let it get there. My second tip is to strategize which shows you're gonna do. And this kind of goes along with the first one. You wanna strategize them so that you know, okay, I know that this is my ultimate goal. Maybe right now you're going for that pro card. I commend you, you can do it, you got this. Push harder on the Stairmaster. And if you're going for that, you need to have a strategy with which shows you're choosing I think it's best to choose shows that are closer together so that you can you know prep diet hard get ready for that first show come back make a few improvements diet for the next show you know kind of continue it but have a stopping point and make sure that you stop when you feel good and when you're ahead so that you can go comfortably into an off season my third tip is to reverse diet properly so please make sure to work with a coach or somebody that will keep you accountable week by week make sure to send them pictures every single week so that you guys can be held accountable and you can make sure you reverse diet. If you reverse diet properly, I promise your life will be so much easier. There's so many other preps where I reverse dieted properly and it's because I think I had the mental strength. I physically felt pretty well. Like I, it was amazing. And so there's no reason why you can't. I think the people who really can't reverse diet properly are the people that are just, they've been dieting so hard and for so long that they're like, it's not even a matter of self-control. It's like your body is like screaming all the time. Like I need more food and you never want it to get there and it doesn't have to get there. My last tip is to take a diet break when needed. So this is really helpful if you have a coach that's really flexible, if you can be really clear and open with your communication. Let's say that maybe you have a show in mind and you really wanna do that show and you guys set that goal for that show. Have that structure, have that game plan, but also be flexible with your methods and be flexible enough to know hey coach i'm kind of not doing well like like mentally i feel like i'm really stressed out you know the other day i overate on my macros and like like be open and honest with them and see if you guys can't adjust your plan maybe what you need to do is to take one week back at maintenance calories have that week to like refeed your body let your body feel good again and then go again that's much better than trying to continue dieting but really you're like going over on your macros and you're inconsistent and you're mentally not feeling well so just don't be afraid to like be open and clear and honest with your coach if you 
have a good coach, they will have your back, they will put your mental health and your physical health as priority. So I hope that those tips help you guys and I hope that you guys can avoid making the same mistakes that I made. I wanted to do just a little bit of a chat real quick to share with you guys kind of what led me back to this decision. I'd say in the very early stages of me like entertaining this idea, it kind of came from me watching other people do it in a healthy way. And it reminded me of my original preps and why I fell in love with competing in the first place because I was able to take my body there and I was able to take my body out of it in a really healthy way. It never got unhealthy until the very last time and I think it goes along with everything that I said in this video. You know, I didn't take enough time off, I was contracted in and I shouldn't have done those shows and I had to push for shows that I wasn't ready for. Um, a lot of factors went into, you know, getting food poisoning and getting IVs flown in all over my body. Uh, there's a lot of things that went into why it became unhealthy for me and I will say I will never let it get to an unhealthy point mentally or physically ever again. Coach and I have a really strategic plan for how we're going to be doing this and how we're going to be going for the points for Olympia and I will be stopping while I'm ahead. I will be reverse dieting. I will be doing diet breaks. There is a healthy way to do this. You've got to have a really good coach that you trust, that you have open communication with and you have to just make sure to take care of your body mentally and physically like all around. If you're not well mentally and if you're not like feeling good physically you're not going to do well in prep anyways so if you're already feeling that way take time off and come back when you're refreshed and ready i'm telling you what like my body started shaping up without me even trying i would say august to december my body was just like shaping up without me even trying even during the holidays and then i'd say january you know february i mean it's like my body is just like loving being an athlete that trains and works hard and and eats well for her body and i've always lived like a really healthy lifestyle so during this whole time of course I'm still eating my regular meals like it's always been my lifestyle but I think my body honestly time off was everything like it just reset everything and now even with dieting when I'm you know hitting my macros every single day it's um, you know hashtag two weeks of dieting in but like it's super easy like I don't have this mental like <gasps> food like whatsoever and if I have like a food thought it's almost like a funny thing or like a normal dieting thing but it's not at all like like an unhealthy like obsession or feeling or urge it's none of that and I really don't think that that should be there and if it is there you're not gonna have a successful prep so there's a lot of things that went into me deciding to compete again but I think a lot of it is just you know my body finally stabilized I've been really happy and healthy for a long time now you know my hormones were stable probably a year ago um, and now like mentally I just I feel way better than I've ever felt like I I feel like I'm a brand new competitor and honestly it's just time off I don't know how many times I can say it but take time off so that's gonna be it for this video because I'm sure it's long enough already I want to do a lot of sit down talk videos in between my vlogs so if you guys have questions I'm gonna be asking on my Instagram story for your questions and feedback but please drop down below what is something that you guys want me to cover what is a topic you want to hear of I've done seven shows you know three of those are IFBB shows I did uh, seven national shows so I've done a lot I have a lot of experience and I definitely I want to share everything that I can with you guys if I can help you not make a mistake that I made or if I can help you get further in your journey that's what I want to do so shoot them down below ask all your questions make sure to give this video a thumbs up on your way out and don't forget Alphalete is having a new release I believe it's April 27th I'll put my link down below if you guys want to support me when you're purchasing Alphalete you just have to use my link. It doesn't give me commission, but it shows them that I'm getting sales for the company, which is a good thing. So thank you guys so much as always. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.